Max Beckmann was born in Leipzig, Germany in 1884 to a middle-class family. Despite his father passing away when he was only 10 years old, he received a proper education at a boarding school. Against his family's opposition, he entered the Art Academy in Weimar in 1900. By 1910, Beckman was having his work displayed in the gallery of Paul Kasserer, one of the most prominent promoters in Berlin. Thus began a period of commercial success, making paintings influenced by Impressionism. In 1915, Beckman entered the Great War as a medical orderly. Here he was exposed to death and destruction leading to a nervous breakdown. This leads to a drastic change in his art. Cubist and Expressionist influences begin to appear. By 1933, Hitler and the Nazi party rose to power in Germany. Hitler was greatly offended by much of the modern art, led by the work of Max Beckmann. Hitler included Beckmann's work in the Degenerate Art Exhibition. His success began to fade. In 1937, he fled from Germany to Amsterdam, where he spent his nights in cabarets, theaters, and at carnivals. These themes begin to be featured heavily in his work that is now a strong representation of German Expressionist style. In the wake of World War II, Beckman immigrated to the United States where he settled in St. Louis, Missouri, taking a teaching position at Washington University. On December 28, 1950, Max Beckman passed away, suffering a heart attack in Central Park in New York City while on his way to see one of his paintings on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. 